Let's start with Brooke Singman live in studio with the very latest on the arrest made at Trump's rally. And Brooke, this was a strange one. Yeah, it was. Good morning, Carly. So Vem Miller of Las Vegas was arrested on gun charges, but quickly released on a $5,000 bail. So he was stopped by local authorities at a security checkpoint outside of former President Trump's rally in Coachella, California. Police say he was driving an unregistered black SUV with a homemade license plate, and he claimed to be a journalist that had VIP access. But when deputies searched his car, they eventually found a shotgun, a loaded handgun, and ammunition. They also found multiple passports and driver's licenses with several different names. So far, no federal charges have been filed, but the U.S. Attorney's Office said Trump was never in any danger, and they are investigating. And the local sheriff's office is not taking this incident lightly. Before former President Trump arrived to the rally, uh, we made contact with an, to an individual on the inner perimeter of uh, our operation at the rally. In regard to previous attempts on the former president's life, this was not something that we were taking lightly. We had a very uh, detailed plan in place on how we were going to keep not only the former president safe, but all of the uh, participants or the attendees of the rally safe. In an interview with Fox News Digital after he was released, Miller denied any intent to harm President Trump. He said, quote, I am the last person that would cause any violence and harm to anybody. I am 100 percent a Trump supporter. This is a man that I deeply admire because I was a closet individual in terms of my beliefs because I worked in Hollywood. A source close to the Trump campaign also tells Fox they do not believe this was an assassination attempt. The suspect is expected to appear in court on January 2nd. Wow. Carly. OK, Brooks and life us brooke thank you i'm steve ducey i'm brian Kilme, and i'm ainsley earhart and click here to subscribe to the fox news youtube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis